Hey, what is up everyone? Wild for Games here, and today I'm breaking down how to go live anywhere using your iPhone and the Streamlabs mobile app. Are you ready? Here we go. Seriously, the days of hauling around bulky streaming gear are completely gone. Whether you're an IRL streamer, on the streets, or cooking up something wild in your kitchen, or just vibing with your community, wherever you are, Streamlabs mobile has your back. You can share the moments live straight from your phone. Now, if you're looking for Android instructions, don't worry, I got you covered like I always do. There's a full walkthrough down in the video description below. Just click on the link. But today we're keeping it real simple with just iOS. So let me show you how to get up and running right now. First thing, grab the Streamlabs mobile app from the app store. That's easy enough. Search Streamlabs and hit download. Once installed, open up the app. You can log in using your Streamlabs ID or preferred streaming platform. I always recommend using your Streamlabs ID because it makes life way easier. One login gives you access to your Streamlabs desktop, talk studio, overlays, and more. So it makes it nice and simple. After you're in, it's time to set up your stream. Tap the hamburger icon in the top left corner, those three little lines if you didn't know what hamburger meant, and select scenes. This is where you can start building how your stream will look. You can create a new scene and name it and either use the pre-made layouts that we provide or you can build your own from scratch. Looking for overlay alerts or perhaps you just want a total custom look? Don't worry, I always got you covered. I put down in the video description another link to the blog that goes over scenes that takes you through everything you need to know to get up and running. Now here's where things get interesting with Streamlabs Mobile. You can multi-stream. If you're a Streamlabs Ultra subscriber, you can go live on Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, Kick, Facebook, and more all at the same time. Pretty impressive. To set it up, go to your account settings in the main menu and connect all of your platforms. After your scenes are all set and platforms are all connected, jump into the streaming settings in the menu. Here's where you can dial in your stream quality, adjust things like video resolution, frame rate, audio options, camera settings, and even screen capture if you plan on showing off some mobile gameplay. If you want your stream to look even better, tap themes in the menu. There's a whole library of overlays and designs, and some are free and a ton more unlock with Ultra or just by using the app. Pick a theme, apply it to your scene, and make it yours. You can also drag and resize and rearrange any elements that you want. Pro tip here is don't forget to save and repeat it for landscape if you wanna stream in both orientations. Now, if you're worried about losing connection midstream, don't worry. There's a feature called Disconnect Protection for Ultra users that'll basically put up a Be Right Back screen, which is super clutch for keeping your audience around until your stream comes back up and is running perfectly again. And don't forget to set up your alerts, tips, subs, super chats, you name it. Pick what you wanna show off on stream so you never miss a hype moment. Before you go live, there are a few quick tips that I just wanna share with you. Make sure your iPhone is fully charged, of course. You'd be surprised at how many people forget about this because you know what? Streaming can drain your battery fast. So keep it charged and you might wanna have a backup charger just in case. Be sure to close your other apps for the best performance and make sure you turn on Do Not Disturb so your stream isn't interrupted by random calls, text messages, or notifications. And make sure you know the rules of whatever platform you're planning to go live on. Nobody wants to get banned, right? So you're finally ready to go live? Well, just tap the phone icon in the top right corner to pick your scene. You can even swap scenes while you're streaming. Then hit go live. On iOS, you'll pick if you wanna share your screen, which is great for mobile gaming, or use your camera for IRL. Pick your platforms, add a title and description, set your privacy and category, add a thumbnail if you want, and boom, hit go live and you're live on the air. A couple other features you might wanna know about is first of all, rewards. Ultra subs get automatic perks, but everyone can earn rewards by streaming. Also, tipping. Set up your Streamlabs tip page and start earning on the go. Streamlabs doesn't take a cut. And don't forget you also have a light and dark mode. Pick whatever matches your vibe. And of course, having an ultra membership. If you wanna do multi-streaming or have access to more themes, early access to sponsorships, and a bunch of other perks, make sure you check out Ultra right away within the app. And uh, there you go. 
you're ready to start streaming with Streamlabs Mobile and you can bring your audience with you wherever you go without losing any of the quality or customization that you love having in your streams. Don't forget, if you need the Android walkthrough, like I said, I did you a favor and I put it down in the video description below. Also, if you need any other help, don't be afraid to drop us a question in the comment section or check out our help center in the app. We're always here to help you out and I'm always gonna be here to help you on your streaming adventures. Wild wishing you the best, and I can't wait to see what you bring to Streamlabs Mobile. Check you later, and of course, peace.